cute. Hello and welcome. Hi. Who do we have here? What is your name? My name is Harper. Harper. And where are you from, Harper? I'm from Somerset, UK. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> A fellow friend from the UK. Hello. Uh, hello. How do hello. you do? Um, and how old are you? I'm 10 years old. And who did you come with today? I came with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is your dad? Is he in the wing right there? Yeah. Should we ask him to sit right here since how he's not there? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> okay, do you want to sit here for this performance? Yes! Dad? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hello. It's odd, it's odd, because you could be Howie, kind of. I'm Jake. Nice to meet you, Jake. God, you're better looking than Howie. You are. You're very handsome. <laughs> Don't you think it's much better from over here? It's much better. All right. It's good. There, there we go. <laughs> so, what will you be doing for us today? I'm a singer. Okay. How do you feel? Are you nervous? Very. We all wish you good luck. Go ahead. Thank you. Holy roller sits in the garden we fled. Blood into wine, take my body instead. Holy roller sits in the garden we fled. Blood into wine, take my body instead. I love it. I'm so proud. Thank you. I love it. This was unexpected, I have to say. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Amazing. Well, we did say we like surprises. When did all this start? When I was free. It's like you have a monster inside. <laughs> have you ever seen a film called The Exorcist? <laughs> no, actually, kidding aside, that was brilliant. Yeah. Thank I you. I mean, brilliant. It was like a mouse turned it into a vampire bat or something. Yeah. You know? and, and it was so effortless. Like, she, her face was not transforming into a monster. <laughs> it was just yeah. something coming out of her. Her birth, it was so crazy. Thank you. Yeah, we love you. Thank you. Should we vote? I'm going to give you a first yes. Yes! Thank you. Olivia! Yes! Thank you. Simon! You've got three yeses. Hello. Hello, how are you? So, what's your name? Sam Siri. My name is Sam Siri. Uh, I put music out as Nicotine Dolls. Uh, where are you from? I live in New Jersey. Tell me why you come on the show, Sam, please. Uh, I came here because I've been making music my entire life. And uh, like a month ago was the first month that I ever actually paid my bills or anything with making music. And that's really cool. And um, thank you. Good. Yeah. Hi. And did you have a normal job before you were making music? 
Before this job, I cleaned houses and I painted houses. Yep. And uh, I wasn't very good at the second one. I'm fantastic <laughs> at cleaning houses. Uh, but the second one, if you're watching, I'm sorry that I did that to your house. Um, What's the big dream? The dream is to be a musician, and that's my job, and that's what I do every day, and it self-sustains. Like, I'm going to be creative, and that's going to be my job, you know? Okay. The good news is you're here. I'm happy to be here. Thank you, guys. And this is hopefully going to be your moment. Thank you. Thank you. I love the fact he's in a band, but it's only him. He's the star. and sexy and you know what I think this is your moment Sam thank you thank you very much you know what's great Sam is that it was really authentic you were very honest with us as well we got to know you really quickly and it was like you swallowed a great singer because you know the way you talk <laughs> it's like it's like there's somebody else in you thank you very much thank you Okay, I know how this is going to go, but we've got to do it. Heidi. I mean, you're really special. Yes, 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 Thank yes, you. yes, yes, yes. Sophia. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you got three yeses, you're through to the next round. You? We're good. Good. Now tell me who you are. We are the, the mistress. mistress. Where are you from? I like it. We're from the Philippines. Philippines. Oh, wow. So, what's the dream, girls? We would like to be like Destiny's, Destiny's Child. Child. Yeah. Okay. Spice, Girls. Spice Girls. Girl Power. Woo! Okay, great. Okay, well, look, good luck. Hope it goes well. Thank you.
Hiding a little secret from us at the beginning. Guess what, Simon? Surprise! <laughs> Your voices were fantastic. You look amazing. You're just so hot. It's so unfair. <laughs> okay, let's vote. David. He's gonna say yes. It's a yes from me, ladies. It's a yes from me. I think it was a great audition. You got four yeses. Wow! Thank you, guys. Thank you. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, husband and wife? Yes. OK, and just tell me your names, please. Uh, my name is Marcelito Pomoy. Marcelito? Yeah. And you are? And I am Joanne Pomoy. And where are you both from? We are both from the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> now, you're not the act, are you? Okay. So the reason why I'm here is to support him all throughout. Okay, good. My husband, you know, he has very hard life in the Philippines. But then he won the Philippines Got Talent. Did he and win? Yes. What year? 2011. Huh? I'm going to ask you one last question. Are you here to win it? Yes. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. I pray you'll be all right. That's his voice. And watch us where we go. In help us to be. In times when we don't know Della mia propria Let this be our prayer From the further track When shadows feel louder Lead us to a place Guide us with your Wait so well be That was so unique. You are 
a beautiful, wonderful singer with a young woman trapped inside of you. Thank you, sir. I want to see something different, something unique, and Marcelito, you just gave that to us. Thank it you. was absolutely brilliant. Incredible, incredible. Honestly, this is one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Your voice, your range, your sound is just so out of this world. You are so worthy of the golden buzzer. And I think you're one of the most incredible singers, but it's up to our super fans. And I, I hope they vote you through. That was what I call a 10. As simple as that. I have a feeling that the super fans will put you through to the next round. Rough day at the office. <laughs> Another feeling. What's your name? My name is Andrew DeLeon. Andrew, you've got an unusual look, but is this how you walk around all day? Yes. Kind of a goth look you would describe this as? Uh, yes. I, I assume you're a singer? Yes. Well, listen, why don't you do your thing? Okay. Good luck. Thank you. What's going through your mind? Can you share it with us? Um, I'm just so used to being rejected, and I'm not really good at anything, so this is amazing. Feels good. And you know, I, I sensed right before you sang, you were feeling very nervous. You ever perform in front of a big crowd like this? I've never performed in front of anybody. No kidding. This is your first time. I mean, literally, did, did, you must have taken voice training or, or something. No? Not at all. Self-taught. You, and, and you would practice this, what, in your room? And yet you got up here and blew the roof off the joint. Good for you. Thank you. Andrew, Andrew, what do your parents think of you, of your voice? Um, they've never heard me sing either. Are they, they here? Haven't? They are here. Where are they? They're right up there. We love you, Andrew. Well, they must be so proud of you. And please don't say that you're not good at anything because you've got an amazing voice and you are an individual. Now, you know, you've been hiding in your room all these years, but you never, you never let the world see who you are or what you are. And it's not that you're good at anything, you are great. We're gonna vote now. I'll be the first one to vote yes. Big time. Sharon. Yeah, Andrew, I'm definitely in love with you now. 
say yes. Howie. Mom, Dad, how proud are you of your son? Very proud. Very proud. Very proud. Well, you know something? We all love your boy now. That's three yeses. You're going to Vegas. I want to make an announcement and, and quit my job, really. I want to be a little bit more positive and uh, hopeful for a better future. So I've come up here to spread some love and sing a song. Great. <laughs> well, look, normally, Dev, I would ask someone, you know, how many kids you have. How many demons do you have? Oh, goodness me. Countless. OK. And who would be... Would you phone one of the demons first if you got through? Ooh. Maybe a group chat. <laughs> Well, we wish you all the best. Yes, for Devon. I only I just got that. say you only just got that. I want to break free. Well, I didn't expect that. I want to break free. I want to break free from your lies, your soul, self-satisfied, I don't need you. I want to break free. And God knows, God knows I want to break free. I've fallen in love. I've fallen the best singing devil we've had on today <laughs> and you're, you're very horny as well <laughs> are you going back to hell now not without one of you lot i had no idea the devil was so talented oh stop it <laughs> what worried me about it was you kept saying that god knows you want to break free <laughs> well he'd know wouldn't he you actually, you've got a very good voice. Thank you. I particularly loved some of your vocals. They were really cool. 
I don't know whether this is flattering or not, but you know, you as the devil have every show in the world to choose to audition on, and you chose Britain's Got Talent, so I somehow feel that's a compliment. I mean, good company. Um, this is going to be the performance I'm going to remember most. <laughs> okay, we're going to vote. David. Dev. Let me give you your first yes. Yay! I'm saying yes. It is a yes from me, Dev. Uh, the devil, you've got four yeses. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. What is your name? My name is Luca Di Stefano and I'm 19 years old. Are you from Italy? I'm from Sicily. Are you happy to be here tonight? Yeah, I'm ha so happy. Yeah. You didn't sound happy no, you when did. you said it. You didn't. But you're nervous. Yeah, I feel so nervous. Yeah. How did this dream start? What? Heidi, it's your accent. Nobody can understand I'm you sorry. with that accent. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Well, we're very happy that you're here. What are you going to do tonight? Uh, I'm singing tonight. Yeah. You're singing? Yeah. So go ahead. Okay, thank you. Yes. And Howie, what do you think? The one thing I love about this show are surprises and moments. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting that yeah. out of you. And I could hear you sing that all night long. It's just so funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, How about you, Heidi? I mean, what an amazing gift you have. When you started, literally, I thought that it was playback. I was like, this is yeah, not so coming out of his mouth. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Your voice is just so special. It makes me feel all like mm, yummy and warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, thank you. And you, Simon? It's like a cat walking on and then barking. You know, it's like... What? It's the last thing I would have expected yeah. from you. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, it's bold. <laughs> Let's get it on. Yes. Thank you. I wish I could make that work. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I can't do it. <laughs> yes. Luca. You can do it. You've got four. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much.
And I got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns in the beer. Traces my blues away. Is that coming out of him? And I'll be on I was day. not expecting that from Mongolia. <laughs> Blame it on my roots. I sure them boots. Ruined your bike top for you. Last one new. You last want to show I was the last one you thought you see there. And I saw the surprise, the fear in his eyes. And I took his glass of champagne. And I do see you say, don't even maybe prove. But you never hear me complain. <laughs> Cause I am afraid to know places where you will stay around. I feel like Mel B, I'm confused. <laughs> Was he lip syncing? No, of course not. No, no one can lip sync on American Were you Channel. lip syncing? No. Don't judge a book by its cover, Howie Mandel. <laughs> How would you even know this kind of music? How did you get into this kind of uh, music? It's called the internet. <laughs> You don't find this amazing? Yes. Of course, that's why but he is I, on my dream I'm not, team. I'm not surprised. This is exactly what this young man should be singing. Yeehaw because to your that. tone is stunning. Absolutely yeah. stunning. I love this performance. Yes, love. Thank you. What I would like to have seen is for the music just to stop and for you to do like an a cappella. Because I need to uh, hear uh, this guy no, sing. No, no. Do you know next what? Round, Can I say something? Round. Maybe next time next you round. start a cappella. That was uh, my idea, Simon. Not now it isn't. I think, and I then think, I think. The track comes you know what? It doesn't matter, it was brilliant. Thank you so much, you were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I really want to hear his voice. I think maybe if he did some a cappella. <laughs> Do you have the talent to win this? I sure hope so. I'm here. Yeah! I got here. Well, I cannot wait to hear you sing. Thank you. Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. <laughs> Play some music that is soft and slow. Uh -huh. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. I hope you understand. I've been thinking about this all day long. Never felt a feeling quite this strong. I can't believe how much it turns me on. Just to be your man. Wait a second. Is that it? How do you think that went? I think it went really well. <laughs> no, Wendy, that's not you! Before y'all go to judging, I just, there's one thing I must tell y'all. <laughs> so, uh... How are you guys doing? Confused. I understand that completely. Don't be confused, though. Was that you singing? That was me singing. So you're a ventriloquist and your wife is your puppet. I, I don't know. Yes, yes. Let me just show you real quick. Um, no, don't put your hand oh. in. <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed because I thought that was her singing. 
<laughs> Sophia, what did you think? I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to judge this thing. <laughs> Believe it or not, that um, my wife can do this to any one of y'all. Do it to Simon. You are so much better looking in real life. Whoa! Whoa! That's crazy. How about me? How about do me? Okay. I am very confused right now. Heidi. Also am liebsten würde ich da sitzen, wo du sitzt, und du würdest da sein, wo ich bin, dann wäre das Ganze viel lustiger. Oh my God, that looks good. I just said. This is what's amazing. It's improvisational lip syncing. She doesn't know what you're gonna say, yet you're looking at me thinking it's me that's talking when it's actually Howie over on the side of you, not the beautiful woman you're looking at. It's really good. I don't know for what, but it's really good. Hey, listen, I'm gonna start this thing. I'm gonna say yes. I want to see you again. Heidi, what do you think? I'm gonna say yes to it. Let's see where this is gonna go. Sophia? I think it's an incredible talent because it's very unique. Um, so I'm gonna have to say yes to yeah. I'm, I'm really, really confused. <laughs> but yours is the only opinion that matters. So I just want to hear from you. You want to hear me? No, you're no. lip syncing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the very first time I'm ever going to vote question mark. Well, all you need What's is three yeses. You're moving on. We'll see you again. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hello. Uh, hi. And what's your name, sir? John Hetlinger. Where are you from, John? I'm from Broomfield, Colorado. And John, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I am 82 years old. No, you're not. Uh, are you retired now? <laughs> yes, I retired about 15 years ago. That's about the time I started doing karaoke. Before you retired, what was your job? The most recent one was aerospace engineering. I was a... Oh, wow. uh, uh, yes, I was blessed to be the program manager for the CoStar instrument that repaired the Hubble Space Telescope. That's incredible. Thank you. Did you go to space? I was a Navy pilot that was far enough into space. Wow. Wow. After everything you've done, why, why have you decided to come on the show this year? Well, this would be probably the high point of my life and my many careers. It's so without putting words into your mouth, we're sort of more important than the Hubble telescope. Yes. Thank yes. you. <laughs> All right, John, listen, good luck. Okay. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the Thank you very much. I was not expecting that at I all. Don't think any
anyone did. And I actually got a little bit scared. Yeah. <laughs> Your face, like, totally changed. You're like, Whoa! Is there, like, a, a mosh pit where you work? <laughs> no, there's a lot of beer. Okay. <laughs> John, I thought you were going to come on and sing Fly Me to the Moon or something like that, you know, to fit in with your job, but you are an animal. Thank you. And I mean I that think... in, in the utmost respect. I absolutely love you, John. Thank you very much. That's quite a compliment. OK, we're going to have to vote. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mel B. <laughs> Thank you. Heidi? I think you guys have all gone mad. For me, it's a no. I'm sorry. John, as much as I like you, I have to agree with Howie and Mel. Three yeses. You know you Hello. How are you? I'm fine, Simon, thank you. Nice to meet you. What's your name, please? My name is Father Ray Kelly, and I'm 64 years of age, and I'm a parish priest in Ireland. So why have you decided to come on the show? Well, I thought maybe I'd be the first singing priest maybe to win Britain's Got Talent. I think you would be. <laughs> thank you. OK, so tell me the song and why you've chosen it. Um, I'm going to sing uh, the R.A.M. song, Everybody Hurts. Beautiful. And, uh, oh, I love it's, uh, it's a song that's kind of near and dear to my heart. I suppose being a priest, you get in touch with a lot of pain, a lot of joy and happiness as well. So I suppose it's a song that I feel I can... I can... You can relate to. Yeah. Great, it's a lovely song. Okay, good luck. Thank you very much.
you so much, David. Well, that was a beautiful performance. It really it was. I've never seen a priest stand at a microphone and sing like that. You did it with such soul and passion. It just was a really, really brilliant performance. Alicia. It was so soothing and calming. Everybody was listening to every single word, relating it to things that have gone on in their lives. And um, you just seem like the loveliest man. And this, is, a, this is just a beautiful audition. Thank you. Well done. Amanda? For me, it was everything. It's just brilliant and honest, and the whole congregation was behind you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Father Ray, I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, to be honest with you, but I want to tell you something. This is one of my favorite ever auditions. Really? I really mean that. I think your voice is beautiful. I love the version of the song. This was everything we've been waiting for, genuinely. Thank you very much, Sam. Really? I absolutely loved it. Okay, David. It's a yes from me. Thank you, David. Thank you. Absolutely yes from me, well done. Father Ray Kelly, I am delighted to tell you you have four huge fans. Woohoo! Thank you, sir. Thank you. G'day, how you doing? <laughs> hey! Tell us your name. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ginzilla. Ginzilla, where are you from? I'm from Sydney, Australia. Oh. How old are you? Oh, a lady never reveals her age. Mm. <laughs> I'm ageless, girl. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Just looking at it. I this love is, it. Look, I'm so expensive right Ooh. now. There's a real train to the back. What? <laughs> <laughs> So, what's the dream? Oh, the dream to perform in front of these many people every night. Yes. And to take over the world. <laughs> so, what are you going to do here for us tonight? I'm going to sing you a little song. Ooh. Take it away. Okay. Hit it. Hit it. She's oil over the wall. She's a kind of like a clock. I take to fill her. What? Well, she always knows her place. She's got style. She's got grace. She's a widow. Well, she's a lady. Okay, I'm time. I'm literally time. Simon, I love you. Call me, seriously. Oh, no, she's not. She's not. No, no, she's not done right now. She's a lady. She's such a pretty lady right now. Oh, my God. I can't believe she's a lady. Lady. Oh, my God. I can't believe she's a lady. Oh, my God. She's a lady. That is a show. Oh, my God. Here we go.
Okay. You're so entertaining. You're such a good performer. You're funny. You're different. You're confusing. You know, I think you got a possibility of going really far in this contest. You are amazing. I loved it. Thank you. Julia. I can absolutely see you in Vegas right now, owning a show. I would come every weekend. Thank you so much. Simon. I have to tell you, I was like, what the bloody hell is that? But this was fantastic. It is exactly why we created this show, to find people like you. This was a great audition, good for you. Thank you, Simon. I, I'm here for the whole thing. I love a faux ending, and you gave us three. You should get used to this kind of reaction. Thank you. Let's take it to a vote. Howie. Yes. Yes. Ah, you got two yeses. Yes. Julianne. This is easy. You got three. Yes. Go, Simon. Go, Simon, baby. And now you have four. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, nice to meet you. Uh, what's the act called? Uh, Charlotte and Jonathan. Charlotte and Jonathan. Okay. Um, uh, how old are you both? I'm 16. And I'm 17. Okay. Um, and, and you thought the combination would work. Whose idea was it? Um, it was our singing teachers, actually. She thought it'd be good to try us out together. <laughs> and we both sounded quite good when we sang what we did. Okay. Do you think you could win? Yeah, together. <laughs> All right, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> that you can move an audience like that. You sing beautifully together. It was world class. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
a pop voice and an opera voice together. It was incredible. Okay, this is what I think. Uh, Charlotte, I think you're good, but Jonathan, you are unbelievable. You have an outstandingly good voice. Thank you very much. How old are you? 17. I mean, that's unbelievable. Jonathan, you are a future star. Thank you. I like the fact that this works as a duo, but I worry, Charlotte, whether you're going to hold him back. Well... We've come on here as a duo, and we're going to stay here as a duo. OK, David, we better vote, yes or no? Ah, oh, such an easy decision. Yes. Thank you. Definitely a yes from me. I think your voice complements Jonathan's really well, so don't be disheartened. It's a yes for me. You know, my head here would say to you, Jonathan, dump her. <laughs> and then my heart would say there was something kind of magical at moments together as well. So. I'm going to say yes to the two of you. You've got four yes. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Good. <laughs> Welcome to America's Got Talent. What is your name, young lady? Alan. And you, sir, what is your name? Isaiah. You're the drummer, I take it, and what do you do? Sing. You're, and how old are you? Six. You're six, and how old are you? Nine. Brother and sister? Yes. Like the Partridge family. <laughs> I love that show. You ever hear of that show? <laughs> All right. We can't wait to hear your sweet music. Thank you. You. The reason I hit my buzzer wasn't because I didn't like the song. I was afraid your voice was going to blow out and you'd never get to talk again because you were screaming so loud. Does that hurt your voice? No. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you, that song really packs a punch. It really does. <laughs> what is the title of that song? Zombie Skin. Zombie Skin. That's what I thought. It was about zombies. Whoa. I love the way you dress when you do this form of music. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, Heidi, what did you think? I'm really confused. You are so cute and sweet, and when you opened your mouth, I was like, Whoa. And I want to meet your parents. Where are they? Are they there, Nick? What goes on in your house? Uh-huh. Uh I mean, There's the culprit. There's the culprit. What is going on? Good job, Dad. Hey, right on. All right, let's hear from Mel B. Scary Spice is officially scared. <laughs> That's it. Howie. That's it. I love it. 
the people who saw this are rewinding and saying, you're not going to believe what this little girl just did. <laughs> All right, we're going to vote. I'm going to go to Howie Mandel first, who is an expert on this type of music. Screamo, Howie, what do you it, think? I do. I, I like this kind of music. And I, you think it's crazy, but I do. And hopefully we'll get to see you in Vegas, because I'm voting yes. I have to be realistic. No. I'm still confused, but I do want to hear Lullaby Crash. <laughs> lullaby Crash! I want to hear it! You know what they say? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Let's see if you can keep a secret in Vegas. I'm gonna send you this. I like it. Why not? Look how excited it is. Settle down. Settle down, little girl. I like it. I like it. Interesting. I like those, you know, the David Attenborough <laughs> type of things. So, <laughs> look, it is incredible, but then I'm thinking in the context of a Vegas show, right. which is, are you going to sit there for two hours and listen to a frog? <laughs> no, but she does so much more. I think it's great. Mel? I was confused because I didn't <laughs> know what animal was what. I think I would have liked to have gone, right, this is now an elephant. Or this there is now- There was no a, elephant. There was, there was, brum, brum, brum. <laughs> what is wrong with both of you? A frog and an elephant. Oh my God. But Howie, I think you have to take this as a note. And maybe you need to approach your mentoring a little bit differently. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. They don't they don't understand animals if it's not a dog. <laughs> it's like a soundtrack and animal sounds and music and singing come out of one person. You took me off to the rainforest. I loved it. Thank you, Genevieve. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, what's your name, please? Greg Pritchard. Okay, why are you here? I'm here to make a dream come true. Which is to be a worldwide performer. Okay. And what do you do when you're not singing, Greg? When I'm not singing, I work in a hotel as a waiter. Okay. Do you hate it? Pretty much, yeah. Well, good luck, Greg. Thanks very much. Get high and miss. 
shouldn't have just happened, should it? Pardon? That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Term for your voice? Um, what? It's kind of termed counter tenor, but I'm a male soprano. Okay. Yeah. Which is kind of from the Baroque period in operas and all that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Yes? I mean, it was one of the most extraordinary things I've ever heard that. I mean, I, of all the things I expected to come out of your mouth, that was the last thing on my list. Yes! But I have to say, I thought you did it brilliantly. It was a great act. Yes! Thank you. Simon? Well, it's like a dog meowing. <laughs> you know, it, it just shouldn't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> would I like a dog to meow? I guess I would, yeah. yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, the, you've puzzled me, Greg, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's yes or no. I am going to say yes. Thank you. Amanda? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> uh, Greg, I'm going to say I haven't got a bloody clue. <laughs> but you're through. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well done. Well done, Greg. Oh, is that <laughs> one of the most <laughs> surreal things I have ever seen in my life? He's a little star, that guy. Know, the audience loved him. It was fantastic. fantastic. was a surprise. I wasn't expecting it. I hate to say this, but that was a very, very good choice of song. Yes. Here's the thing. It's five acts to go through. I thought what I watched is very good, but I don't know if it's great. What? That's wrong. Well, the good thing is, it's the audience that is voting. You know, it's not him. So please, audience, vote. You have to. Yeah! Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. Yeah. How are you? Uh, very excited. Good. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Malachi. I'm 13 years old and I'm 
a singer from London. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh. When did you decide, Manakai, that you were going to be a singer? When I was seven. What happened? I joined my choir. Yeah. And then what? And then I started singing. Yeah. <laughs> So this is what you want to be full time? Yeah. That's why you're here? Yeah. Good luck. Oh, please be good. What's your name, darling? My name is Susan Boyle. Okay, uh, Susan, and where are you from? I am from Blackburn near Bathgate, West Lothian. It's a big town. It's a sort of collection of, it's a collection of uh, villages. I to think there. And how old are you, Susan? I am 47. <laughs> and that's just one side of me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's the dream? I, I'm trying to be a professional singer. And why hasn't it worked out so far, Susan? Well, I've never been given the chance before, but here's hoping it'll change. Okay, and who would you like to be as successful as? Elaine Page. Elaine like Page. That. What are you going to sing tonight? I'm going to sing I Dreamed a Dream from the Miserables. Okay, big song. <laughs> yeah? Yes.
I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Susan Pears. Without a doubt, that was the biggest surprise I have had in three years on this show. When you stood there with that cheeky grin and said, I, I want to be like a lame page, everyone was laughing at you. No one is laughing now. That was stunning. An incredible performance. Amazing. I'm reeling from shock about you two, but... I am so thrilled because I know that everybody was against you. I honestly think that we were all being very cynical, and I think that's the biggest wake-up call ever. And I just want to say that it was a complete privilege listening to that. It was inspirational. Susan, I knew the minute you walked out... <laughs> oh, shine on! ...on that stage that we were going to hear something extraordinary, and I was right. <laughs> Quite a lot of touch. Susan, you are a little tiger, aren't you? Oh, I don't know about that. You are? I don't know about that. OK, moment of truth. Here's yes or no. The biggest yes I have ever given anybody. <laughs> Amanda? Yes, definitely. That's brilliant. Amanda, you too! Susan Boyle, you can go back to the village with your head held high. It's three S's. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Daniel Chettle. How old are you, Daniel? I've just turned 15. 15 years old? Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Now you say you're sorry for being 
Working on America's Got Talent or Modern Family? Ooh, that's a good one. America's Got Talent. Wendy? That is true. That's true! Yes! Okay, there's been many <laughs> questions already. Do you see anybody in the audience tonight that you're interested in? That's it. That's it. Okay, I, 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 I think she's done. Do you know what? Do you know what he is? And it is, it's interesting, and it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people, more than any other star I've ever seen. Can we have an hour for that? Finish our nice job. But for some reason, and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> you know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. I just doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> what, what, would you feel more comfortable if you gave you a hug? Yeah. Come give, give me a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Come on. Hug it out. Come give me a hug. Hug it out. That's it. Come give me a hug. Come on. No, no, I didn't say sit down. No, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. That's it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, that's it. What a beautiful thing. That's it. What a beautiful thing. Terry, Terry, Terry. I have someone here who, on the internet, David Vaughn, he wants to know, Terry, I need you to do a spin around for me so I can admire that suit. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, there check it out. It is. I have one too. Uh, Nicole from Ohio has made a shocking observation. Take a look. What is it? What? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> Nicole. Simon, what do you think of that, man? Nicole, oh. that is spot on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Look, as we all know by now, very occasionally, the judges disagree on something. What are the three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks. Humility. Generous. Uh, I like people, I wear great clothes, I'm funny, um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch, I'm great to go on holiday with, um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> I know you do! Let's, straight let's in there. replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence, ladies and gentlemen. I like girls, I like guys. Thank you! You finally said it. And you like animals? Oh, we're not going there. David, <laughs> do, do those hand binoculars actually work? Well, my hand binoculars, they're just to cut out the light. So sometimes if they're up in the air and I can't see them well, I cut the light like this. I do have glasses, but I'm too vain Let's see to this. wear them. <laughs> I have glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see now? Is that, is with, with no, them? it's all good. It's all nice and fuzzy. No, this no, is I just... You might want to wear them when you're judging. That's for real. See, I wear. See, I don't know if I look <laughs> so pretty. good in glasses. I, yeah, anyway. I now, <laughs> Sophia, after Aaron flirted with you on the show last night, we got a lot of questions asking what you're looking for in a partner. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Well, I think what every girl wants, someone... I am taken. <laughs> Someone healthy, yeah. someone handsome, someone that um, has a great sense of humor. I'm married! <laughs> someone that is happy with himself, that's it. Okay, okay. I'm married! Oh, he's married, 
Oh, he's married. All right. What is the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. You? Good question. <laughs> 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 don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> I like you. I like your baby. Uh, you're, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see David inside his house. Oh, he's never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see if. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that, of Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> Howie! Hi there. So my question is for David. Right. So David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far. But don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's... <laughs> Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, didn't he? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, it is, it is magic. He, it is fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's like a cow! Every time <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. That's, get, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs> Last night, we asked you at home to comment online about the show and the judges. Well, this was my favorite. Check this out. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think of this? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we do look like that. Catch up. I, I told you we did, and you didn't pay attention. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine. We look yellow and red goes well together. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Howie, did you have a good time last night? I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life, and I loved reading all of your comments. Somebody was amazed at the sacrifice that Big Bird had to do for her dress. <laughs> Amazing. Your dress. Oh, man. Okay, he's brutal. He is brutal. Look, thank you, judges. <laughs> for you guys <laughs> who actually had to film that at the front.